probably the most progressive person on the Austin City Council. Greg Kazar, the architect behind some of Austin City Council's most controversial initiatives, announcing his campaign for Texas Congressional District 35. He hasn't just sat back and been an insider politician, but he's always been out there. So he's got a lot of name recognition, especially here within the city of Austin. At age 25, Kazar became the youngest person elected to Austin City Council. Now 32, his record includes doubling the minimum wage for city employees and contractors, ending personal marijuana arrests and tickets by Austin police, and leading the charge to cut funding from the department. We need somebody who's going to fight tooth and nail for working families, and that's what I plan on doing. Kazar's actions often under fire from state Republicans. It's time for the city of Austin to step up uh, and start enforcing the law. Kazar telling Fox 7 Austin the actions of state lawmakers only strengthening his desire for the congressional seat. The legislature has passed a law banning raising the minimum wage for most people in Texas. In Congress, we can actually go and pass a $15 an hour minimum wage that could hopefully escalate to $20 an hour with Medicare for all. We can override those attacks from the governor. The seat Kazar is vying for now open as longtime Democratic U.S. Representative Lloyd Doggett moves to run in the newly drawn 37th congressional district. This new district, the 37th district, is 21 percent Hispanic. His old 35th district, the one Kazar is running for, is 53 percent Hispanic. At least two other people, activist Claudia Zapata and state representative Eddie Rodriguez, have made their run for the District 35 seat public. Right now, Smith says Kazar is the biggest name in the race, but he doubts it'll stay that way. Kazar is well known in Austin, but he's not big enough name to really scare away all potential rivals. We're going to see uh, interest groups get really involved because they understand if we can put somebody in his seat early and keep getting that person reelected, their views might be represented for a lifetime. So this could be a very, very expensive primary and one that might draw out a lot more names.